We'll do two examples now where we, where we graph a parabola given by a quadratic that's in standard form. Remember, standard form looks like ax squared plus bx plus c. So, you know, y equals that. Um, and the vertex, if you're given the equation in standard form, the vertex has x coordinate negative b over 2a. So that's what I like to do first. I like to look at the equation. Number one, determine given the coefficient a, in this case, a is 1, and also b is negative 4. So since a is positive, the parabola opens up. So that's one thing that I know. Also, I can calculate the x-coordinate of the vertex. It'll be negative b over 2a. So that'll be negative um, b is negative 4, all over 2 times a, which is 1. So negative, negative 4 over 2, which is a positive 2. And now we plug that in to get the y-coordinate of the vertex. So y is equal to 2 squared minus 4 times 2 plus 3. That's negative 1. So the vertex is 2 comma negative 1. So this is one piece of information I know. Here is the other. Start plotting this. So 2 comma negative 1. Since it opens up, I do see that it will cross the x-axis. So I am expecting to see two x-intercepts. Let's find the y-intercept and then the x-intercepts. We find the y-intercept by plugging in x equals 0. So that'll be 0 squared minus 4 times 0 plus 3. So it's just 3. So my y-intercept is 0 comma 3. Let's go ahead and plot that point. 0, 1, 2, 3. Also, I can use the fact that, um, remember, here's the vertex. If you were to draw in the vertical line through the vertex, that's going to be an axis of symmetry for you. So because from the axis of symmetry, you go two units to the left here to get this y-intercept. You can go two units to the right. So that's going to be another point on my graph. All right, now let's calculate the x-intercepts. We'll do x squared minus 4x plus 3 equals 0. And that's a quadratic equation that we can use whatever method you want to solve. Um, I think I can factor that because I can think of two numbers that multiply to 3 and add to negative 4. That'd be uh, negative 3 and negative 1. So this will be x minus 3 times x minus 1 equals 0. So setting x minus 3 equals 0, we get x equals 3. Setting x minus 1 equals 0, we get x equals 1. So my x-intercepts are 3, 0, and 1, 0. So these are just some key points. So here is 3 comma 0, 1 comma 0. So now that you have those uh, key points graphed, you can go through and connect to form a parabola. One thing to note, on Hawks, um, they might give you, instead of you finding your own x values to plug in, they actually might say, um, find a point on the graph by, say, plugging in x equals 6. So all you would do is just plug the number that they give you in for x to figure out what the corresponding y value is. Um, that's if they give you an x coordinate to plug in. Um, if they don't, then here are some key values you might want to plug in. Definitely find the vertex. Y-intercept is an easy number to find. Um, and then solving for your x-intercepts or plug in any other value in to give you a couple more points on the parabola so that you can draw a nice smooth curve. All right, let's do one more example in standard form. Negative 3x squared plus 6x minus 9. So notice here, a is negative 3. 
and B is 6. Also, C is negative 9, but we won't use that in our calculations. So first thing to notice is because A is negative, this parabola will open down. Also, we can calculate the vertex by doing negative B over 2A. So that'll be negative 6 over 2 times negative 3. So that's negative 6 over negative 6, six which is a positive 1. And then we can plug that in. So negative 3 times 1 squared plus 6 times 1 minus 9. That'll be a negative 6. So my vertex is 1 comma negative 6. So let's go ahead and plot that. Okay, so there's my vertex. Now, the parabola will open down. So because the vertex is below the x-axis and it opens down, I'm not going to have any x-intercepts. So I might as well not even solve for them because if I tried to, what I would end up with is two complex numbers that I'm not going to be able to plot on this graph. So I'm not even going to bother with the x-intercepts. But I can find my y-intercept by plugging in 0. y equals negative 3 times 0 squared plus 6 times 0 minus 9. So my y-intercept is 0, negative 9. Let's go ahead and plot that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So there it is. And I can also find, because I know that the graph will be symmetric with respect to the um, line through the vertex, I'm expecting to see another point right there. Let's just double check that. If I were to plug in, what is this x coordinate, 2? If I were to plug in x equals 2, then y would be negative 3 times 2 squared plus 6 times 2 minus 9. So is this negative, uh, negative 12 plus 12 minus 9? That gives me negative 9 again. So here's this point. Um, 2 comma negative 9 is another point on the graph. Anyways, let's go ahead and connect those to form the vertex.